Hey y'all, it's your girl Stephanie. This is Wrestling Color Podcast right here on YouTube. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow me on my Pinterest and Instagram. That's where I will be doing most of my uh, correspondence if, that's, if anything's happening and stuff like that. I just want to say really quickly, I am on an Invisalign journey. So if you hear... Like, I have, like, um, they're like mouth guards in my mouth, and they're super tight because they're pulling my teeth into the direction they're supposed to go into. Like, my mouth wasn't busting loose, so let's just get that clear. It was some roller coaster behavior. So I figured, you know what? I ain't getting no younger. Let me go ahead and get these teeth where they need to be and move on with life. So that's what I did. Um, make sure you check out the latest. I just posted not too long ago. Return of the Mac. It's all doom and gloom. My latest uh, video back in the saddle. The links is Pinterest and Instagram is on the banner. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Do all that stuff. And let's just keep this boat going. So let's talk about Miss Mercedes Monet, Sasha Banks. So, I was looking at her New Japan debut, and it was cute. Let me tell you something. Let's, let's, let's talk about a couple things, first of all. The presentation is awesome. Her hair looks fabulous. Her body, everything's on point. The outfit, beautiful. You know, that's not an issue. The music is, I mean, it's basically, uh, what's that song? Jump, jump. The man, daddy make you jump, jump. Now, I don't know. If it's just me or... But a couple people I know said, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so whatever. That's cute. Um, Did anybody listen to her backstage, I guess, media? Because from my understanding, this is just her first stop in her world tour. If you haven't listened, maybe you can listen, take a, take a gander at what she says. Mercedes Monet. And I am the CEO of New Japan and Stardom's women's division. And this is only just my first stop because I'm on a world domination tour. I know everybody is so jealous of Japan. You guys are so lucky to have me first. Right? Are you guys happy that I'm here? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm laughing because I'm like, yeah, look. Their media in Japan is totally different than Western media shit then we our media is totally different than like the british media right so a couple issues people were having was the way the people responded to her from my understanding in japan they're a different crowd they're supposed to be more respectable of the the product so they'll look more as opposed to be screaming and, and booing and what 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 and people to death when I saw her debut, I heard people cheering and smiling and laughing. So I don't know what you guys heard. It wasn't like quiet till a pin drop. The second thing everyone's complaining about is the move. So she did some type of move. I don't know what it was, but it looked like she was going to take Kyrie, throw her over her shoulder, and kind of do a, a, a DDT in the mat or drill her into the mat and crack her, her arm. Whatever. I'm sure they're going to get it next time. Who cares? Both of them look fabulous. Kyrie Sane looks awesome. She looks menacing. She looks like, you know, she ain't nothing to play with. Never did care for the Pirate Princess um, gimmick, but whatever. She looks great. I'm happy that she's working where she's with her husband and her kids or whatever. They, they say she want to be with her family. Anyway, Mercedes Monet is the name that she settled on. Other people are complaining that she took... Uh, Talia Valkyrie's name, but Talia is no longer in the WWE, so that Monet shit she was doing with the poodle didn't last long. She's back to being Talia Valkyrie, and Carmella. Let's just be honest, that's not even Carmella's real personality. Mella is money, yeah, it was cute, and she came out, did a moonwalk, and all that. Her outfits were cute. I already said Carmella outfits was cute, she needed to go back to that. But she's on some sex thing, you know, sex kitten type shit with them big fake ass titties. So, that's where she's at. Mella 
is money is money. Mercedes is Monet. It's two different things, okay? So let's just like give me a break on that. So anyway, she's on a world tour and the next thing that everyone's talking about is her being let me guess, um she's supposed to be Soraya, aka Paige's tag team partner over down to the AD, AEW product. Now, I don't think she should bother with AEW. I think if she's going to do a world tour, she should hit Impact. She should hit um, MLW. Like, if you're going to world tour it, world tour it, make your money, do your thing. But I guess she's going to world tour it in the big names uh, in the top three, which is what? Uh, WWE, New Japan, and AEW. Now, if she is on a world tour and is in fact maybe still employed by WWE, I'm just speculating. Is there a possibility that she could be in the Royal Rumble coming up? I mean, she's on a world tour. There's nothing wrong with her popping in. Like, hey, everybody, like, gotcha. I'm sure she's done with the WWE. I wonder what her um, plans are. Someone asked that question, actually. The IWGP Women's Championship and take all over Japan. So, boy? Good. Hi. <laughs> no, I had a no, question. no questions? <laughs> One opportunity and nobody has a question? You guys have been waiting for me for months, tweeting about me nonstop. I told you I am the conversation, and yet you guys don't want to have. A conversation? Let's go, Japan. Come on. I have no time for you. Let's go. Come she on. got a point there. After the IWGC, what's next? <laughs> Great question. I mean, I'm here to make money. I'm about to make the yen go up. And then after that, I'll go collect the pesos. I'll collect the rubies, the gold, the dollars. We'll see who's next after New Japan. Other than fighting and the IWGP, is there any specific Joshi wrestler that you want to face from anywhere? I mean, besides the legends, Aja Kong, if my nami Toyota comes out of retirement, I'll put her back in retirement. I really like AZM, right? Um, I like Miyu. Um, there's so many. But first, I really want to get my hands on Kairi san because we have a lot of history. And I know at Battle in the Valley in San Jose, February 18th, there you go. It's going to be the most greatest match in New Japan and stardom history. <laughs> Sasha, yo, y'all was talking about how she conducts her, her, herself in terms of, she's a, she's a homegrown WWE superstar. So she still has that WWE-esque behavior. She's still kind of robotic with her moves. She still is like really steady with the way she's delivering the lines or what she needs to say. I think over time, that's going to like fade away and she's going to be a little bit more comfortable with who she is. You know, I'm here to make money. I'm going to make pesos. I'm going to go get dollars. That was necessary in WWE because WWE's audience is historically undereducated. Now I'm not I'm I'm just saying. So they never took to the Japanese people speaking Japanese, or if people had accents and stuff like that. When they heard accents and stuff, they would just be like USA, USA. They never took to the international superstars. So now that she's in Japan. This is an opportunity for Sasha to really dig into that character development and kind of find who she really is. And I think that Stone Cold Steve Austin's um, interview with her is where she needs to go if she's going to be that type of character. Blunt, straight to the point, not passive aggressive. I'm not calling you ugly. I'm just calling you facially challenged type of character. You see what I'm saying? I'm not straightforward, but I'm also being disrespectful in a cute way. 
I'm looking forward to what she got going on. I personally don't want her to go to AEW. If she goes, that's her business, you know. If she goes and does a little little zhuzhs there and leave, cool. But if she signs and become all elite, I don't think that's a good idea. But we'll see what happens and then I'll talk about that. So for everybody talking shit about Sasha Banks, Bacha Banks, and all that, it's no longer Banks. It's Monet. Mercedes Monet. Let this woman build a new character and see where she goes with it. I think a lot of you love to hate, love to hate, watch, and complain. Not a lot of people jump out the window and do things that they want to do. Everyone doesn't have that opportunity. And I think you all should sit back and see how far she goes with this Mercedes Monet character. I'm excited to see it. She looks great. I also appreciate Naomi is still by her side. Still by her side. And being supportive sisters like they call each other. And shout outs to Bailey because she also went to see her best friend uh, live her dream. I would like to know what's up with Naomi, but that's a different podcast for a different day. Y'all tell me what y'all think about Sasha's debut. I think everybody said what they had to think. I'm about a week late, but whatever. It don't matter till I say it. <laughs> Next time, y'all.